yesterday, it's coming out of the west today. This water is completely flat when we made this trip yesterday. The waves were at least a foot and a half high. that was built back in the early 1800s called the Desjardins Canal that goes out to Dundas. Um, Dundas actually developed a little bit ahead of Hamilton in terms of industrial activity and in order to accommodate the, uh, the ships that they needed to get up there to bring the supplies in and out, uh, they built the canal up as far as Dundas. When the railway came through in 1853, that kind of all started to change and the activity shifted towards Hamilton. One of the problems with the Desjardins Canal when they built it, and it's the same problem they have today, is that it silts up very quickly. What that means is that the uh, streams that come in off the escarpment pick up soil, and once they settle, they drop it, and it brings up the bottom of the, uh, the water, so that the depth of the water changes. Now, uh, in the early days when they were taking ships up there, they used to dredge it. Once they stopped dredging it, it didn't take very long for it to become completely unnavigable. So today it's quite shallow, like I said, we're in about five feet and I'm staying a little bit offshore. We used to be able to take the boat down inside there and do a little turn down the far end, but it's much too shallow. And it's also too narrow, because one of the things they've just, or the last extensions they did was to take the trail through the Princess Point. Rather than fill in the canal, they decided to put the trail through on a series of floating concrete barges. So what you see where the lights are, is our series of floating concrete barges tied into the shoreline. And you can see that first one there looks quite like a ramp. You can still take a canoe or a kayak just about all the way up to Dundas, at least as far as Olympic Drive. You can't see Coots Paradise, that's the area on the other side of this landmass, but it looks very much the same as the area just off to the uh, left-hand side of the boat as we make our swing to go back. And it's similar in many ways, it's completely surrounded by trees on the other side as well, and most of the land that surrounds either Coots Paradise or at least the left-hand side of this bay is all under the management of the Royal Botanical Gardens. The right-hand side of this inlet is Woodland Cemetery, one of the largest and oldest cemeteries in the Hamilton-Burlington area. So this area is not going to change very much over the next, uh, for the foreseeable future. But even this area is extremely shallow, where you see those white markers strung across there. If we were to take this boat past there, we'd run aground. A 
talking about the cormorants and the damage they did. You can see uh, the worst of it uh, just up against this side. All of those dead trees that you see up there were killed by the cormorants.